that's every ride. The blues and twos. Oh, I hate that sound. Sun shining. Birds definitely in good voice. There's only some four ambulances on the way here. Yeah. All is well with the world. Well, for most of us. Obviously the people that are waiting on ambulances aren't in such good order. Oh, spooky. Ooh. Oh, aye, aye. oh, it's so beautiful. So this wood over here is where I fancy a wild camp. Up on that hill, I don't know if I'm doing it justice. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, these tall trees. There's no signs of much deadfall or much to fall that's dead up there. But uh, if ever you've heard one of these come down, <laughs> it's a noise that's quite unholy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Crikey, that's a, wor a workout. This is so pretty. I have to break out my camera. I'm not sure that we're going to have sun all day today. I think the forecasts to get a little bit uh, overcast later. Just gone in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a few calories because I've got quite a way to go. Chip on a few raisins. Power up! Dun dun dun! Okay, back back on. Rock and roll. How does that get here? Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, I bought this new top and uh, it's a bit crispy, so I don't know how the rustling of the Top is going to affect the mic. I guess that's part of my learning curve. So next stop is just to drop a little carving up by the north end of the park. I should get a, foot, a fair few more people on foot through there. So, hopefully this, this little fella finds a home. I must get some more carving done as well. I've uh, <laughs> just about run out of stock. I've got, I'm giving things away recently and <sighs> I can't keep up with it. Gonna have to hold on to a few, I think, and try and build up a bit of a stockpile so that I can reliably bring one out every week and drop it somewhere different. I wish I could sing as well as you, fella.
<laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. No, I'm not going there. Love it. Funny thing out here in the woods. Our distribution. I guess even the squirrels need <coughs> USB charges. Maybe not. <laughs> Nettles. <laughs> We don't like metals. So we need a little camera. There's my little man. Definitely known as TJ. Okay. Yeah, fine, thank you. Yeah, Just taking okay. a few shots. Appreciate the offer. Right, okay. Cheers. Nice when people stop to offer you a hand. Because you never know. Where can this fella go then? He needs to find a home. You know what? I think I've found a place for him. Sheltered. There you go, mate. Yet. So what do we have? Raisins are a good option. Super, oh no. Ugh. Oh, I'm not gonna mess with that. It looks like my tire lever has punctured my banana skin. I didn't think I'd be saying that today. There are gangsters down here. I think they're gonna block my way steal my raisins. Cheers. Do you know what that is? Up there. That's the cough. That's the coffee cuckoo. Let's go and try and find him. What did you do on Sunday? Oh, I went out to follow a cuckoo. How oh, did you, mate? Okay, this will do. It's not looking very good at all. Well, it is, it's just... I don't think I can get through that. What am I saying? I can get through anything if I put my mind to it. I don't think my long socks are going to save my legs today. Oh, then. That might have been a wise move. Because we've got Tonka truck tracks that have cut through here. Oh man, this is an epic place. It's so beautiful. Oh wow. 
I need to uh, work out which way to go. I don't want to go that way. That way. I don't want to go up there because I know that's just going to take me back to civilization eventually. There's a new wood and a private pond. I'm not worried about going down there. Off this drop off, it's that direction down the bottom, takes you to a trail that runs along. But you're visible. And then this side, look how dense that is. Man, that's beautiful. Really stunning, that is. I'm gonna have to take a photo. Imagine this at night, with a good moon. This could bring me out in totally the wrong place, but let's keep going. While ever we can. Muddy, muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. That's not a dog print, that looks more like. Uh, I don't know, might be a fox. Bit of a shortage of uh, firewood down here. Although, it's mostly pine, so. Smoky, smoky. Yay, okay, we're steady. This is getting a little bit more difficult to cross. You'll take the high road and I'll take the low road. I don't think there's anywhere I'm just scanning around. I don't think there's anywhere as an alternative to walk. So we need to just get through this. Therefore, let's just do it. Ouch. Hmm. <sighs> Not disappointing. Not even in the slightest. But just not bought me out where I expected. So I'm gonna make my way down to the trail at the bottom. Take this cheeky left. That's definitely not a good look. Ouch. Oh no. No, we don't like that. Let's go have a look. Humans just looking back, checking out what I'm doing, making sure I've not found a oh, nice dog prints. Oh, distracted again. Um, yeah, making sure I've not found gold or oil or holy grail. That's steep, it's just not where I came before either. Mm. I just want a log. There's a log. Easy. Let me go. Okay. There is a log. Uh. Crikey. That wasn't light colour this morning. Jeez, man, what's happened to that? Ugh. Oh, that's minging. I'm going to have to sort that out when I get back. Thank you, madam. Oh, 
water. Buzz off. Here's my little man I mentioned earlier. Keep guard, mate. Look after this. Oh, there's a little wood last next to your uh, next to your left leg. Don't move, don't move. Oh, he's gone. He's safe. A little bit more than usual. Because today is the day of the drip filter. What have we got? Let's get this on. It's a bit fierce. You know what flies, I'm giving you this banana, because that to me is just a bit too ripe. That's a shame. Lesson learnt. Yak. Fortunately, I've bought a gel. We have lysotonic apple. We'll see. remainder of my raisins. There you go mate. Keep your eye on those as well. The coffee filter needs pre-wetting really. That'll do nicely. Don't let in the bottom of my drip filter. Java filter, whatever else you call it. Nice. Now for the magic. A very generous measure. Of my favourite Italian coffee. I can't tell you what brand it is because one day they'll sponsor me. Jeopardise, jeopardise that deal. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit of sugar. Has to be light brown, of course. And that white bleached malarkey. Let's uh, sprinkle that there for the insects. There you go, boys. Okay, what was bubbly bubbly? So let's uh, turn that off. I'll just let it cool down a minute. Don't want uh, don't want red hot water on your coffee beans. Just 
pouring your water gently around the outskirts and letting the coffee settle. Definitely takes a bit more patience than throwing a packet of powder in a cup and pouring some water on it. But hey, I can spot a human over there. Are they on horses? That's why I can see them. Possibly. Anyway, I've got instant coffee if they come over and want to brew. Oh, that smells delicious. Top tip if ever you try this and you haven't already. Always boil more water than you think you need. Swap man, he did an amazing job. Keeping guard, thank you very much. I think you are gonna have to make a feature film one day. That's enough raisins. <sighs> Do you want one, buddy? With a face like that now, clearly you don't. I'm not sure if these bags are, um, I'm sure they will be biodegradable, but can't cast them away. So I'll take it home. I told you, didn't I? Coffee cooking. Ooh. Strong and black. Just how I like my men. What films that out of? Was it airplane? A little girl, wasn't it? Actress. Something like that, something like airplane. I want you to stand. Thank you. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. Okay, I'll share my brand. Generally, oh, I, I like the Lavazza brand. Because I actually had it in Italy. The first time, actually. And I thought, and get that when I get home. And I found it straight away, supermarket shelf. And I've been trying to recreate that coffee ever since, never, never succeeded. I think I'm gonna detach you from my chest on this. And I'm gonna put you on this thing. Just a tiny little handheld tripod. Oh, oh. So, we have got security, a lunar module, a burner, on Java drip filter, silicon contraption, strong and black, just a little bit of sugar, apple gel which will down soon. We've got a pine cone. We've got new spring growth. Oh, and then we've got the trusty steed. And this is where we are. in this most epic of places. 
Oh, where am I going? That'll be me. Oh, bright. Good face for radio. Oof. I've just got one gangly leg today. I left the other one at home. And the usual bag of tricks. That's very strong. You can't see the bottom of my mug, look. Mm, just a slight mm, Castrol GTX. Very nice. And that's what's directly above me. One of the nice things about the uh, GoPro is that infinite focus. I don't know what its closest range is, probably something like half a, half a metre. So we can zoom in on Apple, I'm about an inch away from it there. In fact, closer than that, a centimetre off the front of the packet. Okay. It's gone cool now, so let's try this bad boy. Ooh, where's that rubbish bag? Oh, you can just get to my bag. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh. <coughs> I remind oof, what does that remind me of? It tastes like apple paint. Ugh. Seventeen legged friends. Oh. Oh, I'm pleased that's over. Oh no! Oh man! I've spilt apple apple junk on my tripod. God, it's a messy day today. Oh, ugh. It's a messy day today. I've got banana coffee fingers, now I've got banana coffee apple fingers. Hmm, yeah, a little bit messy. Not normally that scruffy. Oh, everything's going to want a bath. I think when I get in, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Uh, <coughs> Just gonna go and fill the bath with warm water. And I'm just gonna throw my backpack in the bath and leave it there overnight. So when I get up in the morning, everything should be clean. I think I've had enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little feeding station there. What do you want that, mate? You sure? Not forcing you. Entirely up to you. You're tasty. Okay. Don't say I didn't offer. I'm going to just sit back for 10 minutes. Soak this place in. 
make the most of this last dying bit of sunshine from today. And then I'm gonna head home, pour that bath, throw my backpack in it. They've had quite a feed today. We've got banana down there. We've got banana over there somewhere, banana over there somewhere, and here we've got apple juice, apple ju juice, sugar, and raisins. And to say I didn't bring any food, I'd say they've not done too bad, whoever they are. Okay. Oh, ping pong. So I'm just about ready to uh, head off home. Just packed up, left no trace apart from a little pile of sugar, a few raisins and some apple emulsion. And uh, in my research for my parting quote, I came across this guy, he's um, He's not with us anymore. Um, born in, I think he was born 1780 something, 1788. Died about 1824, 1825 maybe, something around there. He was about 35, 36 years of age. And by the name of Lord Byron. And he was uh, famous in his lifetime as a politician poet and one of the leading founding figures of the uh, romantic movement which kicked off somewhere around 1800 I think anyway <clears throat> Lord Byron stuck out when I was looking for a quote as he's a local lad um, or was a local lad he lived at uh, a place called Newstead Abbey which is on the northern edge of Nottingham city area beautiful place to visit, it's open to the public. You can go down there and visit the Chinese water gardens and there's quite a few bits and bobs in the, in the grounds to see and then the old house is open as well. Some ruins there and uh, a peacock to greet you, usually. Anyway, to wrap up this week, this comes from this guy who left it as an epitaph on a gravestone that you can still visit today inside Newstead Abbey. But it's not just any old headstone. It's not just any old grave. Bearing in mind this man was fame, famous for multiple affairs with men and women. Um, and one massive controversy which at the time, oh dear, um, there was handled, uh, allegations of a scandalous liaison, I'm quoting here, a scandalous liaison um, between himself and his half-sister. So it gives you an insight into what this guy uh, rolled with. Anyway, um, one of his many lovers, Lady Caroline Lamb, summed him up in the famous phrase, he's mad, bad and dangerous to know. <laughs> Who could possibly be mad, bad, and they're dangerous to know. Anyway, this guy of the era of around the, the turn of the 19th century, 1800, 1820, he wrote this on this epitaph and it reads, near this spot are deposited the remains of one who possessed beauty without vanity, strength without insolence, courage without ferocity, and all the virtues of man without his vices. This praise which would be unmeaning flattery if inscribed over human ashes is but a just tribute to the memory of Boatswain, a dog. And that inscription can be found on a monument at Newstead Abbey, dated 1808, for, of a Newfoundland dog. <laughs> what a character. What an epitaph. Peace.